All right, my camera died, so I didn't get this on film, but using the templates that come with the instructions, I radius the corners, then drilled a half inch, five eighth hole here. And, and now I'm going to start attaching the hardware. This is the kit it comes with. Pretty small kit. Um, there will be an Amazon link in it. So far, the instructions and everything in here are very easy to follow. Um, they include a DVD with all of the instructions in it. And if you follow that, this has gone pretty quick. I'm just following the cut list and doing what it says. So what I'm doing here is I am assembling all the hardware on these rails before I sand, fill, prime, and paint. Then I'm going to actually build this bed in place, make sure it fits, we're going to get position on the wall. Then I'm going to build two adjoining bookcases. Once I get everything built and make sure everything's fitting right, then I'll disassemble the hardware portions and then paint it in place. Uh, and I'm going to use my airless spray gun to paint it.
Behold my Murphy bed. This is my crowning achievement for the year, I believe. It's the end of 2016, and this is the most fun I've had on a project all year long. I've done some great projects. I'm proud of all the work I've done, but it's rare that I get to do full-on woodworking anymore. I bought the Murphy Bed kit from Amazon. I think it's Create a Bed. There'll be a link in the description and I'll put a banner at the bottom of the screen um, to that. As far as a kit goes, it was about 250 to $300, I think, after tax. And it came with very detailed instructions. Um, as far as the Murphy Bed itself, I just followed the instructions, assembled it, and then we decorated it accordingly. Um, you can get a full size bed, you can get a queen size bed, you can get a twin, you can get it where it's horizontal mounted. Um, their instructions are clear, wonderful. So that part was easy, so I highly recommend them. The bed itself is constructed from material I got at the local hardware store. It is all poplar with um, radiata pine um, plywood. It's their AC plywood. I really like working with it. It's about $30 a sheet in my area and as you can see it finishes up very nicely. It also paints well. It takes a little bit of force to open. You've actually got to get your weight in there a little bit. Um, so I wish the springs were maybe a little bit looser. Comes down. Voila. This bracket holds the mattress in place and there are two elastic straps that hold the mattress in place when it's done. It uses gas struts, no springs, um, very quiet, very smooth operation. To put it up, it's very easy to lift up. Anyone can do this. You can take one finger, lift it up, and then about right here, It'll, you can kind of balance it. You see it's starting to come down. Without the mattress, this guy will not stay down. And it closes. And that's it.